you can probably just imagine the hardest parts about walking coast to coast, like sore feet. I mean, it hurts walking 20 miles a day, 15 miles a day over this rough terrain with a 50, 60 pound pack, that's all the water I'm carrying. And there's days I've had to just stop because my feet are killing me. And it's no picnic sleeping in a hammock for many months alone. I've learned, you know, just what a mental game this is. It's not a physical game as much as it is a mental game. And yet Brad Morrow pushes on, walking the American Discovery Trail from the Delaware shore to the California coast, including two different routes across the nation's midsection. Walked about 5,900 out of the 7,000 miles that the trail covers. So I got about 1,100 left, 1,000 left, and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Before you write him off as completely crazy because of the bad parts, consider the good things about this epic walk to see America. For one thing, the scenery. This is just ridiculously beautiful. Morrow won't name a favorite state, but in 593 miles of Utah, he's finding something very special. Beautiful view. Blew my expectations away. Thought it was desert, and look what an oasis it is. This has definitely been the most exciting and um, rewarding part, and the hardest part. The American Discovery Trail was actually laid out more than a generation ago. So far, there are very few signs along the trail, especially here in Utah. But this year, Congress is finally making it a bit more official. This law says that signs will be put along the trail on all federal lands. Bob Palin is the trail's coordinator in Utah. He said the next step is to get the trail recognized as a national trail under the National Park Service. Isn't it good for people to meet people of different kinds across the country and see their country? And that brings us back to those good things and bad things. As he approached 10,000 feet on Boulder Mountain, Brad Morrow said the best thing on the American Discovery Trail is the American. It's been the people. You know, we have a kind of a perceived divide in our country at the moment, and I have not experienced any of that. Strangers, people stop, and we call them trail angels, but people stop constantly to check on me. That's a really, for me, it's the, it's the most important part is the connection with people. Because for me, people are my oxygen. Sometimes you need some oxygen on this trek. Especially up here. Morrow is on his fourth pair of boots and expects to wear out two more before he sees the Pacific. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Boulder Mountain.